Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to today's sessions about Git. So we use Git and GitHub to keep track of all the changes of our code when we work, uh, especially in a, a you know agency environment to collaborate. So getting familiar with Git will make it way easier for us to join a company and immediately understand the company's workflow as well. And almost every single day, we will be using it uh, to work in a professional environment. So let's uh, play a bit with Git and revise our, you know, <clears throat> Git knowledge, boost our Git knowledge. So today uh, we will gonna we are gonna do exactly that. So. We can see this is um, a visual representation of Git that we use every day. <clears throat> and we can see that we will write a code or enter our command at the left. And the visual representation of our code will be at the, at the right side. So let's get started. So currently the visualization shows us that uh, this is our first commit and the branch is master and our head is pointing to the master branch. So let's get started. So git commit and I'm gonna leave a message. Let's call it second commit and then quotation n and press, a. press enter. So after the first commit, now we are on the second commit and still on the master branch. So let's do one more commit and we are gonna call it the third commit. Let me get it a bit, a bit smaller. Third, so let's hit, press enter. So the first commit, the second commit, and we are now on our third commit in the master branch and our head is pointing to the master branch as well. So now what we can do, we can use the git log command to see the log uh, of the commits that we have made so far. So let's write git log. So we can see that uh, in our log, we have three commits, the first, second, and third commit. So now let's make a branch git. So to make a branch, we have to we have to use the command git branch. So the git branch command is showing us that we are on the master branch. So let's make a second branch. And to do that, we have to write git branch and then the branch name, my feature. So now we can see in our visual representation, with the master branch, we have now another branch called my feature branch. And our head is pointing to the master branch. Okay, so if we again run the command git branch, we will be able to see now we have two branches, the master and my feature. And the star sign is at the left side of the master branch. That means our head is pointing to the master branch. So if we, uh, all our code will be saved under the master branch. So now, if we want to switch to the newly created my feature branch, all we have to do is to check out to that branch. So let's do that, git check out my feature. I'm writing the name of the branch that I want to check out into, which is my feature. So, as, as soon as I hit the command git check out my feature, we can see at the right side of our window that now our head is pointing to the branch my feature. So now we are in the my feature branch. So whatever changes we will be uh, making now, all will be under the newly created my feature branch. And we are currently on that branch. We checked out into that my newly created my feature branch. So let's do a commit. <clears throat> uh, 
let's call it uh it will be the fourth commit fourth commit so now we can see at the right our fourth commit is on our so my feature branch and the master branch has only the first three commits so let's do one more commit This is the fifth commit, which is also under the my feature branch. And if we check the log again, which is git log, we will see we have total five commits. The first three are under the master branch, and then we created another uh, new branch, which is my feature branch. Then we checked out into that my feature branch, and then the last two commits, which which are the fourth and fifth commit, we did in the feature branch. So the master branch has only the first three commits and the fourth and fifth ones are on the my feature branch. So now let's check out into the master branch one more time. So get check out master. So as we can see at the right, the head is now pointing to the master branch uh, and it was pointing towards my feature branch earlier. Now, as we checked out into the master branch, the head is now pointing to the master branch. So now if we check the log, again, we will see only the uh, first three commits because the master branch only uh, has the first three changes we made under it. But uh, my feature branch showed all five because when we created the my feature branch it actually uh, already had all the code changes into the master branch and then additionally it had its own commits so now we are pointing to the master branch and master branch has only the first three commits now if we come make any other commits we will see that it will go under the master branch but uh let's make another branch from the master branch and if we create uh, another branch now it will also create consist the first three commits so let's create one more branch git branch brnch branch and we don't want to misspell anything because it will not work second feature so we are calling our new branch my second feature branch so let's create it so the new branch is created which is my second feature branch but our head is still pointing to the master branch so we created our second branch but let's do some changes and let's see where those changes actually go so get commit. commit. I'm gonna leave a message like previously we did. So we have like fifth, five commits so far. So it, this will be the sixth commit. Sixth commit and let's press enter. So now we can see our master branch has this sixth commit in it. So the first, second, third, and the fourth and fifth is under my feature. And first, second, third, and the sixth commit, these four commits are under the master branch. If we check the log, we will be able to see, but let's do one more commit first, and then we will check the log. So this will be the seventh, S-E-V-E-N-T-H, seventh commit. So again, the master branch, ha master branch has new commit, which is the seventh commit. So the master branch actually consists first three and the sixth and the seventh, so these five commits. And uh, my feature branch uh, contains the first three and the fourth and five, fifth commit. And my second feature branch, it, it is created, but it only contains the first three commit, which commits because uh, we created it under uh, the master branch while we were on the master branch uh, in the third commit. So let's check the log, git log. Now we can see 
uh, we are on the master branch because our head is pointing to the master branch and we have this five commits only the first three and the sixth and the seventh commit so now we can check out in a, let's check out into another branch let's check out into the my feature branch first So now our head is pointing to the my feature branch. And while we are on the my feature branch, let's create another branch from this. So what do we have to write? Git. Git branch. Git branch <clears throat> bug fix. <clears throat> So from the my feature branch, we created another branch, which is the bug fix branch, and it will contain all the commits that were in the my feature branch. So now if we check how many branches we have, so git branch. So we have total four branches now, and our head is pointing to the my feature branch. That means we are on the my feature branch right now. So let's do some commits now. Git commit, the message M, and then double quotation. So this will be, uh, we were we did the seventh commit in the master branch, and then we check out the my feature branch, and then we created another branch, which is bug fix branch. Now we are committing. So this will be the eighth commit. So yeah. So my feature branch is has the eighth commit in it. So let's do one more commit. It will also be under the my feature branch. It will be another ninth commit, and I ninth commit. So let's do it. Okay, so the my feature branch has the ninth commit as well. So now we will check the log again. Git log. So we can see. The my feature branch had the first five commits, which are the first three from the master and then fourth and fifth commit. And then we also have the eighth and ninth commit, uh, these two commits, just as we just did. So let's check out to the bug fix branch now. Git, check out. Mm. uh let's 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 uh let's check out check out bug fix the huge bug bug fix okay so now our head is pointing to the bug fix branch so now we will commit one one more do one more commit and this will be the tenth commit 10th this will be the 10th commit it will be under the bug fix branch so now let's check git log so before we hit enter can you please uh, say what are the commits that the bug fix branch will have so from the right side we can see the bug fix uh, branch will have the first five commits which are the first second third and fourth and fifth, and then we actually uh, uh, did the an eighth and ninth commit, but those two were after creating the bug fix branch and without check checking out into it. So we were still in the my feature branch. So the bug fix branch will not have the eighth and ninth commit. And then we checked out into the bug fix branch and then we did the 10th commit. So the bug fix, fix branch will have all the first fifth, five commits and it will have its own commit, which is the 10th commit. So let's press hit enter and we can see the first, second, third, fourth and fifth and the 10th commit. Okay, so git log is done. And now let's check out into the my feature branch git check out my my feature so now 
I am check. I checked out into the my feature branch. Uh, let's check the log quickly here. So it will have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and eighth and ninth. The tenth coming uh, will not be here because it was under the bug fix branch. So yeah. So let's 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 check out. Uh, we already checked out into the my feature branch, and now we're gonna merge the bug fix branch with the my my feature branch. And once the, these two were merged, uh, the 10th commit will be available in the my feature branch. So let's see. Git merge merge bug fix. So the bug fix branch is merged. Okay, so let's check out into the my feature branch. Well, we are already in the my. Uh, let's uh, check the get log first. So we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and the fifth and the tenth commit. And then we have the eighth, ninth. So the uh, tenth commit is coming after the fifth commit. So let's do one more commit here. So we did the 11th commit and let's check the git log again. 11th commit, so it is done. Now let's check out into the master branch. Master. So now we are checked out into the master branch and the bug fix branch is already merged with the my feature branch. Let's check the log, get log. Okay, so in the master branch, we can see it has only the first three and the six and seven commits, these five commits. So now we are gonna merge the my feature branch with the master branch. After check out into the master branch, now we will merge the my feature branch with the master branch, so get merge my feature so the my feature branch is now merged with the master branch so now let's check check the git log now we can see everything is merged together and my second feature branch we actually did not use that branch we just created that branch so I think we had a decent understanding of, you know, uh, code changes and then creating branches and then checking out into those branches and merging branches together so far. So let's end it here and see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.